Hello artistic adventurers and welcome back to Sketch Quest. We here at TYG have teamed up with some incredible artists to bring you this series of tips to help you start your adventure right. But before we can leave Tutorial Island, we need to brush up on a few skills. And don't worry if you're just starting out, because I'll be learning alongside you. And don't forget to use the hashtag SketchQuest so you can share your results with us. Let's see what today's quest is, shall we? Welcome back everyone. We are here with none other than JLP. Welcome back. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming back as always. I'm actually terrified to get into this today. What's the quest you're giving us? <laughs> today we're starting with the basics of hands. I know hands is a really scary topic. Even I'm still scared of hands. Um, so I'll be tackling it with you guys today. <sighs> um, yeah. <laughs> I, I once tried to draw a hand on stream and I think I spent like two hours just re trying to draw it. It was horrible. Nah, don't, don't worry, that is completely normal and I'm going to try and break down the hand today so that we can focus on the basic shapes of it so that when adding the complexity it hopefully is a little easier. Yay! We can do this. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So when looking at hands, um, you really need to be looking at a lot of references. So I've just pulled up a few for us today. Um, you can like go on Google Images, search up hand references and so many will come up. So that's a good place to be starting. Um, it's really hard to draw hands from memory. It's possible, but it's, it's very, very hard. So um, I would suggest studying hands and really copying references. And even in this case, I actually agree with tracing, but um, on our like learning. So I'll show you how to go about that in more of an ethical way. So don't worry. So the way I like to start with hands is I like to try and find the basic shape of the hand and usually it will look something like this. So this is what I would usually start with when I'm sketching. A great way to be able to find the shape of the hand is when we're going with our references is to copy around the outside and do the thumbs separately and then find where the fingers are at the bottom and trace it that way. That's how that has become this shape here. So you can also experiment with all these other shapes and find the shape of the hand here, like so. And you'll wanna get really good at being able to find just the outline basic shape to start off with. I think when we draw hands, we often kind of go in with this like mindset of looking at all the fingers and tendons and that is really great but um we're kind of overwhelming ourselves really quickly so i would suggest really starting with just the basic shape as much as possible to try and get our brains looking at um it in like a less overwhelming view mm -hmm. so after that then i would kind of break down where the fingers would go and you can see from here that we've got a pretty good base to work off. Like if we wanted to, we could start rounding out the fingers like so. It's not perfect, but it's a great way to begin drawing hands. And it's a way that I was using when I was drawing Sonic characters that have very like cartoon fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, once we got comfortable with that, we're going to move on to something a little scarier. Um, so we're going to be looking at where the hands actually kind of have their like separate shapes. So in each finger here, um, it is divided into three different kind of, um, what I call them as bones sections, and they're about equal in length. Um, and the only one that doesn't like follow this X like rule is the thumb that has two so the reason we're going to look at fingers in three different shapes here is because when we're drawing fingers a lot of the time we draw them like circles like this and when we can draw over them 
we should be able to include each circle in the finger here. There's my, my bad fingernail there. <laughs> and you can see it really gives the finger more depth. <laughs> so when you're, you're drawing the fingers, you want to be able to move in them into three circles like that. So when we draw over them, we have like kind of the definition of finger here. Because um, although drawing a finger as a big sausage is, is very cool, we're kind of ignoring where the um, finger kind of bends and breaks down. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of important to be able to look at the finger as like three separate circles, like so. Sausage <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I think I think all fingers kind of look like sausages at the start. But... <laughs> Once we practice that, and we are very comfortable with drawing fingers in three and the thumb in two, we can start looking at the hand in general. So if we're looking at the back of the hand here, this looks a bit scary, but it's okay. We want to be looking at the knuckles right here. So the knuckles are usually these like um, circles on the back of the hand and there's usually four of them. And we can see here that the knuckles go through the finger and they connect all together to one point here. So this is just a good way to be looking at the back of the hand. We can also see that the fingers here kind of, they flare out and we can see that there's like a fan shape between them here. If that's too much information, don't worry about that for now. Just focus on this part with the knuckles here and make sure that the tendons kind of connect here. And when you're drawing over this shape, then you can kind of draw in the tendons like so. So once we're comfortable with the back of the hand, we can also move on to the front of the hand, which I think is easier to me personally. So the front of the hand is where the palm is. So an easy way to draw the palm is to divide it into three shapes. We want the upper part here, which is kind of this um, almost oval shape. It kind of looks like a dog paw actually, mm. like if you were, like the circles there. And then you want your part where your thumb is quite extended down here. And then you just got the rest of the palm here. Another way you can look at it is another Y shape there, kind of. Okay, it's so like here. You want to extend the thumb around there. Like so. And you want to be looking at the top of the palm here. And then I, th I think it's easier just to include this one last. Because it's kind of an odd shape. <laughs> and that's how we would go about drawing a palm of a hand. An easier way if it helps, if you're struggling with making sure you get all the fingers in right, um, you can create like a divide between them so you've kind of got like a space to um, put the fingers in. I know sometimes we all make the mistake of doing one too many fingers or something like that. <laughs> so it's one, two, three. You can do three lines like that. It looks so good already. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. This is um, what I would mainly focus on when drawing hands. Um, really study this shape 
And then when you're comfortable with this, you can apply it onto like all the fancy um, directions and angles of the hand. Mm. So, a good cheat way that I like to um, use when I'm learning to draw hands is to learn how to divide each part of the finger into what we've just shown here. So we've got the two parts on the thumb here. We're we got the three parts of the fingers here so this is when i think tracing is a good thing um, especially when we're learning is i recommend getting a picture of a hand and just tracing over it or if you feel more comfortable you can take a picture of your own hand and do it or if you're feeling very like you want to really have a good study day you can take your hand and you can draw these lines on your hand so where you see a crease in your hand, you can draw a line and then you can study how those creases look. So I would say references are very, very important when drawing hands. And then we can see the thumb kind of goes down here, similar to how I just showed, like so. So that's a way that I would recommend studying hands, at least to kind of divide them because when we, when we look at hand as a whole we're like why does this go here and why does this go here it gets really complex really quickly so if we just focus on like trying to break it down into like sizable amounts then it's it's a little less scary for me personally i started drawing hands like when i was doing like sonic style and I found this was an easier way to draw hands. So I would say if you're struggling drawing hands, um, try like the big cartoony way, because that can really help you develop like drawing them um, realistically. I would say that the cartoon way typically only has two bones for the fingers. However, it's a really great place to begin, especially if you're really, really struggling. You could like um, study maybe Mickey Mouse or like the Sonic characters and see how their hands have been drawn. Um, it also puts it in a like a more friendlier way of drawing hands as well. Um, I know when I'm drawing hands, I tend to just separate the thumb out from the rest of the fingers and then I can work from there. Mm. So that might be a good way of They're a bit more helping. open as well. Like, they are. You've got like the thumb and then the finger comes You can out. still see they've got all the anatomy, but they're um, kind of less scary. Yeah. And they're also easier to see and copy as well. Yeah, they're kind of a bit more rounded, these ones. Yeah, I, I tend to just find them easier for me because you can really block in the shapes really well, like... Mm. And you can see them very well, like you can see here this shape... Like that, and the thumb is like that. And you've got a really good base to begin with. Mm. A really, really good resource to be able to use is called Line of Action. It has a whole part dedicated to drawing hands and feet. You can um, turn it on so it's just hands and it'll come up with all these different poses. Um, you can screenshot them and like draw the different parts of the hand like I've just shown, like so. Or if you want to challenge yourself, you can set it to a timer and see how quickly you can draw the hands. I would recommend when we're first starting out that we just focus on the shapes. So maybe the best place to start is uh, working on the shape of the hand and then if you want to challenge yourself you can build up to where the ligaments of the hand go and then eventually you can build up to trying to draw the hand in the separate parts like so and then if you feel very very comfortable <laughs> you can you can just go in and try and draw the hand <laughs> So there's different steps to it and stages um, that you can try. Um, so that's why a lot of artists go in and they try and draw hands, but they're trying to look at it from a realistic point of view instead of breaking it down. And then they get overwhelmed and scared about hands. 
but there's lots of different um, ways to go about doing them. Um, if you find a way to draw hands is easier for you, then I'd suggest go with that one for a while um, and don't be afraid to break them down. So for the quest today, we're going to take a few references and draw the shapes of the hands and get comfortable with drawing the shapes. And then we can move on to the different parts of the hands and making sure all the bones are there. And then we can move on to drawing the hands in more detail. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us again, JLP. Thank you for having me. Uh, everyone remember to follow her on all the social medias. Um, and remember to use the hashtag SketchQuest so we can see all of your incredible creations. We'll be back again with another sketch quest. But until then, we'll see you later, taters. Bye. Bye.